this team can be fun to watch now. That lineup that they had out there last night, Tigers PR put this out, and I find it really interesting. They, they tweeted out before the game, tonight's lineup features six players aged 24 or younger. It's the first time since May, of 20, May 25th of 2015 that the Tigers had six starters under the age of 25. Prior to that, it hadn't happened for the Tigers since September 30th of 1978. Okay? Yeah. So in 1978, team. that was an exciting time. That was man. Whitaker and Trammell, and the next year they had they had Lance Parrish and uh, Jack Morris, and they the- were starting to lay the foundation for what was a World Series team. The 2015 team didn't lay the foundation for anything. No, which is interesting you say because my first thought was that was a team that was a playoff team, it was a good team, mm-hmm. but shouldn't that have worked well into the future when you're losing guys like. Verlander and uh, J.D. Martinez and Upton and Prince Field and all all these guys you're losing. Well, yep. shouldn't you be getting younger and even adding to that mix? And obviously, it didn't work. It out didn't. That it way. didn't really become. It wasn't a thing. And so this, you know, you look at '78. It was the foundation laid for a World Series team. 2015, it really wasn't. But you know, I could watch this group of kids scrap every night like I and and it's easy to say when you win but I mean they got a ninth inning bottom of the ninth two out base hit from Jace Young to tie the game and then they get a they get a Parker Meadows single in the 10th to win the game all while you know having Scooble do Scooble things and it was funny because I watched the Little League game, the Canada-Mexico game yesterday morning because I knew the Tigers were arriving in Williamsport. And I knew what that meant. They would get on the buses, they would ride over the field, and the Tigers would get paraded out. And they, you know, mingle amongst the kids. They ended up showing shots of like Justin Henry Malloy in the in the in the dorms with kids. There was, Did ESPN just show the sheer dis- disappointment on the on the children's faces because they weren't the Yankees? No, they didn't. Oh. It's funny you say that, but <laughs> And then the Yankees showed up like an hour and a half later. And it was like, they were like, here come the Beatles. Like that's how they treated I, it. That's exactly what they said. And, and yeah, okay. It's got that atmosphere around it because the best player in baseball right now is it might be Aaron judge. And here he is. And he's larger than life. Cause he's, you know, Frankenstein's creation there at yep. six foot nine and we 300 know. pounds and all that. We yeah. know what it is, right? It's the biggest market in the game. They're a really good team. They yep. got the best player. They got a bunch of stars. Got it. It's kind of what I expected. And I wasn't mad about it, but our scrappy group of kids went out and won the game. Mm-hmm. They won the game. And, and you know, Chase Young and Parker Meadows and guys made plays. And Colt Keith and Parker Meadows combined for, for six hits last night. Yep. And there's kind of, you know, this might be one of those days, like late in the game, okay? The, the, remember, the Tigers are playing the Beatles. Right. And late in the game... The Tigers were up in the ninth, and they showed one of the Little League teams. And the Tigers were down a run in the bottom of the ninth. And one of these Little League teams, all the kids had their hats on like rally caps. Mm -hmm. They were rooting for the Tigers. When the Tigers tied it up, they had a shot down the third base line. We're behind because the stands are so close in that park. That the tying run scores, and it was, was it Cole Keith? I think it was Cole Keith scored the tying run. Slides across the plate. And the kids behind home plate are going crazy. Now, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, these are impressionable young kids and a bunch of young Tigers that they've not heard of, but maybe young stars. Are they getting on board with the Tigers? Or, and I have to admit, part of that might be, or are they just happy because the game might go to extras? And when you're that young age, you want it to keep going and going and going. There is part of that. But the other thing is when you're in that proximity to, to major league players like that. And this whole event is just about the little leaguers and the two major league teams because mm-hmm. outsiders aren't allowed there. That's it. The only people that are at the game are the little leaguers and their parents. So when they've had all day to kind of fraternize and mingle with these guys, it's pretty great. And if you can remember when you were a kid yep, and the first time you met, uh, if you ever met a, a professional baseball player, how cool that was. Didn't matter how low on the totem pole that player Doesn't was. Doesn't matter at all. You met the, if you met Stan Pappy in 1986, yeah. it was cool as hell. Yep. Even though nobody knows who the hell Stan Pappy was, if you met him, you do. You know, just 
it, it's just it's one of those things. So the fact that the Tigers have this young of a team and mm -hmm. these guys are out there, so 10 years from now, let's hope that these guys hit, right? They end up being great players. These kids have that memory. Like, I remember when in, in 2024. Dude, Tyler Holt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Right. The, the great pitcher for the Tigers. You know, I met Colt Keith. I met Wenzel Perez or whatever it is, you know. Perez probably not there, but you know what I'm saying. Yes. Anyway, the point is, on a night where we were the role player, we were the supporting actor, our team was the supporting actor, our team kind of ruined the party by coming through and winning, and what was neat is with the young kids, Parker Meadows and Jace Young and Cole Keith and these, these guys coming up with big hits and big moments, when they won the game, they flew out of the dugout, like yeah. pouring over the top with a youthful exuberance of, because I'm because guess what these Tigers are? They're also kids. They're just like the yep. little leaguers. The Tigers are like, there's a bunch of Tigers that probably were going, hey, that's Aaron Judge, right? <laughs> yeah. Doing the same thing the little leaguers are doing, and we won the game. And it's meaningless. <laughs> but it felt really meaningful. Well, and I'm watching afterwards, and, I mean, they wrapped up their coverage pretty quick on that. Yeah. Which was too bad because I thought it was kind of cool. One, then they start going to a handshake line, which you never see during nope. the regular season. Nope. And they're doing the handshake line because that's what you do in, in Little League. You shake hands with the other team. And they're going through that. And you could see, yeah, there were, I wanted to see the interactions with Aaron Judge and the Detroit, the young Tiger players, you know, and it was, uh, and Tarek Skubal and the Yankee players and, and things like that. It was just, it was a really cool day, a cool event. I'm glad the Tigers are part of it. It's, uh, it's, it's so much sweeter. Like initially, you're like, oh, they're playing the Yankees. Oh, crap. ESPN on Sunday night, Tigers and Yankees. They're all about the Yankees. This is going to be nauseating. And it was nauseating until the end when the Tigers won. And then it's sweet, sweet victory. And it was amazing. It, it was really a compelling moment for a Tiger team that are probably history will probably largely forget unless it truly is the beginning of the next group. And, and here's something that doesn't make any sense at all, but I want to have happen almost essentially <laughs> for the rest of the season is, is use that lineup every night. With that many players, I mean, they could have Dylan Dingler catching instead of Jake Rogers, and Torque could be playing first. But seriously, th if the lineup looks something like this the rest of the year, I'll probably watch more innings of ti a Tiger team that is out of it than I have in previous years because this is the window to the future. And winning one game doesn't mean they're going to be good. It doesn't mean these guys are going to be good. But, boy, it... it you know, we always say play the young kids. People always say play the young kids. Right. This is what it looks like, and it looks even better when you trick around and win the game, right? And it they did looks, last it night. It looks great.